Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward with your productivity. Oh, this you crazy mother. So welcome to another episode. This is specifically on the segment Trello hacks. And what I'm going to be doing in this episode is focusing in specifically on an application called Pomelo. And Pomelo, for those who don't know, is an application that's free on the Chrome Web Store. So if I go over here, you just simply type in, and I'll get rid of it out of the way of the screen for the moment. Pomelo is essentially a Trello tool that allows you to monitor each of your cards with a Pomodoro timer. And for those who don't know, a Pomodoro timer is something that a lot of people in the productivity space use. A lot of people generally use it to monitor, one, the progress of their tasks, so how long they're spending on specific things, and two, the attention they spend on one or two specific tasks uh, across their day. So it's something that is becoming very popular in the space, um, and Pomelo tries to meet that using Trello. So you can download Pomelo for free, and once you do, it's uh, really easy to use across all of the other um, networks too. So it's not something that you know you can use specifically on Trello, um, but it's something that you know you can get started straight um, on Trello. So once you've got it installed, uh, you can launch the app, and it's a simple pop-up over the top of the screen. Once you've set it up, and I go into the settings here. And that's a simple tap on those three buttons and go into the third icon in. Once you've got that, you can plug your uh, productivity account over the top. So I was going to make a, a Pomelo account. It's not necessary to start off with. But once you get that, you can view all of your stats. Boards and lists allow you to see all of your Trello account. Um, and it's really powerful because you can. I've tapped into all of these uh, lists inside the Trello uh, account that I've got for testing and allows me to log all of the card comment events, uh, track the productivity through Pomelo, and also make the relevant edits. I can also go into settings too and edit the exact position of the timer. So maybe I'm a 19 minute person for that task and I need a nine minute break and a long break is a 16 minute break. Um, and you can also have a set a sound also and card icon as well could be a pom Pomodoro, which is a tomato. And also there's keyboard shortcuts there. I won't go too much into detail there too. So I'm going to do is hit run 10K and do it. And essentially, as you just heard, the timer starts. Um, 19 minutes I've got to complete that task. This is a really useful way. I could even put this up in the top right hand corner. And it's kind of like an aggressive timer as I move on. I can also um, add a little note there, pause it, and even stop it and void the session. Or I'm done this task, I'm fully complete, and what will happen is uh, you still got 18 minutes left on that timer. So, if okay. So as you can see in that right-hand corner, it basically logs the a completion um, total time on the Pomelo log at the bottom, which is great. It also gives it a really cheeky emoji with the amount of time it take uh, taken in Pomodoros, which is a full 25 minute cycle, uh, which is really powerful. So this is really beneficial for anyone looking to kind of monitor the progress of all of their tasks and make sure they keep and stuck to the Pomodoro technique. So this application is free and I'm finding it really powerful actually. So I've been using this a little bit on the side. I like the keyboard shortcuts too. They do give you some really valuable information um, and also speed when you're kind of doing this across your day. So I'd definitely learn them and work out how to learn them. I changed the timer to all of the same ones. I kept it at default because I'm quite confident with following that technique. And I also attach it to all of the other Trello boards and lists you've got there too. Also, I do need to check this out, and this is probably a separate episode in itself, but the Pomodoro stat, Pomilo stats might be really valuable for those who want to improve. So as you can see up in the top right hand corner, this is going to hit 16 now, and that's really useful because it just continues to monitor all of the great stuff. So I, I, if I chose swim a mile, um, and then what I did is I press this again. So as you can see, very easy to use. Um, I'm just going to avoid the session there. Um, and then say issue with swimming. 
and it suggests to take a short break there. So it's really powerful once you get used to it. I mean, it's a really simplistic application, works great. This is a Chromebook application over the top, so it's very native to this, uh, the experience. Uh, obviously, it'd be even more native when you're using Windows and Mac. So thank you very much, everyone. I hope that you go away and download Pomelo. I will add it in the link in the description for you to go away and check out. I find it really valuable just to keep a check on everything because obviously once you've got this tiny little uh, timer down here and what you've actually, you know, how much actual time you've got there, you can't really track exactly how long you're spending on something. And it's valuable to get that sort of data attached to all of your Trello cards too. So give that one a try. Thank you very much, everyone. Make sure you have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.